The next stock that I'm covering today is another big tech company that has successfully ridden this emerging AI wave to higher profits in all of 2023 and 2024 is not looking too bad either. But the big question is, is that wave curling over? Is there an impending crash? Well, I think the fundamentals and some of the news stories and the charts are going to tell a story, and I think it's going to be a great story, so let's get into it. If you have been a long-term shareholder of Microsoft, you saw the price whittle away to the low $200 range in 2022, but now today it's knocking on the $400 door. It's up 85% in just a year and a half, which has been an incredible run-up, but they deserve every single dollar of that share price because they have delivered top and bottom line results over the last year and a half. I'm going to be making the bull and the bear case for Microsoft. This is the Stocks with Josh show. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for already hitting the like. Say hi in the comment section. Let me know how you're enjoying this series on big tech stocks while you're at it and hit subscribe to continue to get them. All right, what's the ongoing bull case for Microsoft? What are the bulls saying about this stock? Why should we be loading up on Microsoft today? That's the good question. For one reason, these guys are one of the biggest and most successful companies in the world. They're the number two company in the S&P 500 sitting with a $2 trillion market cap. Microsoft has an operating system monopoly commanding 73% of all computer users, which serves as a cash cow for shareholders driving clients endlessly to their trusted AI-driven cloud, Azure. And you guys know that all of the buzz of profit around big tech is around cloud service, and these guys have a very big one called Azure. The name Azure comes from the color of the sky because the sky is the limit when you're dealing with cloud service driven by AI technology. But here's where things really get interesting. Microsoft understands that not only is it important to deliver cloud and AI solutions to companies, but also to provide a public cloud. You're going to begin to hear more and more about the idea of a public cloud, the expansion of intelligent on-demand computing solutions in an ever AI-driven world. The bottom line is there's going to be more AI adoption by the masses, and it's going to be done in the space that's referred to as the public cloud. And these guys are focusing on how to bring customers to Microsoft where they're going to find AI solutions that can later on become profit centers, specifically through advertising. I keep underlining that for all of these big tech companies. They're trying to position their company and their products as a necessary solution to everyday life where they can continue to generate ad revenue. And the blue sky opportunity of Azure reminds me of the 80s song, My Future's So Bright I Have to Wear Shades. The bulls believe that 400 is just the starting point, And later on in 2025, we're looking at 500 and a future stock split. But what do the bears say? We got to look at both sides of the coin. First off, they say that Azure is not even the number one cloud service. They're a sad second to Amazon's AWS, so don't get too excited because number two is first place loser. Not to mention that their phones have no meaningful marketplace presence, generic solutions, and once again, just picking up the scraps after Apple. Bears say that stock is overpriced, and even if it does touch 400, it's going to fall back below into the 300s and remain there for the months ahead. I'm going to tell you guys my opinion after we break down the technicals and take a fresh look at the charts. Let's kick things off and look at the news first. Now, as I was scrolling through a bunch of news stories over Microsoft over the last couple weeks, I noticed that most of them were bullish. All of them were basically analysts saying, buy, buy, buy. There is a very strong analyst recommendation for this stock that lies between buy and strong buy. Very few retractors on the potential success of Microsoft. Now, here's the news story that stood out to me that I think has value for us to take some time to examine. Microsoft makes AI-powered reading coach free for users. Now, here's what's interesting about this, because it goes back to what I mentioned in the bullish case for Microsoft about the public cloud. These guys understand the need to draw people into the AI space and the expense of it. They're willing to spend the money. And you got to remember that Microsoft was the company that before anybody was even talking about AI, they dropped $10 billion to create and fund OpenAI, which brought us ChatGPT, which kicked this whole thing off to begin with. And here's an example of them again, looking down through the corridor of time and investing in the future. It's an AI powered reading coach. It's totally free, but you just have to do one thing. You have to create a Microsoft account. A lot of people may not even have a Microsoft account. A lot of people are iPhone users. And so this is a way to draw more and more people. And you're going to see more and more free products pulling people into AI, into that public cloud to create future customers out of them. And remember guys, nothing is free. 
All they're doing is building future customers and hopefully building future profit margins for shareholders. We're going to get into the technical story here in just a minute, but let me take a very quick station break for the Moomoo investment app. If you need better trade tools, click on the link in the top pinned comment and take a look at the Moomoo trading platform with some of the very best trading tools that you can learn on. They're available in the US, Australia, and Canada. And currently in the United States, they're offering right now the opportunity to receive up to 15 free stock. But that's not the best part of their offer. In addition, new accounts putting cash onto the Moomoo platform are eligible to receive for three months an 8.1% interest rate, which is huge. You can just load up your account with some cash and get positioned to invest in a pullback in the first quarter of 2024. So put some cash in there and let it just begin to make you some money. Click on the link for all the details. What do I think of Microsoft overall? Well, like I said, these guys kicked off this AI revolution with making a huge investment in that space and it's paid off royally for them and their shareholders. And they're continuing to do that by looking ahead at the public cloud opportunity. And I think ultimately it's going to pave the way for Microsoft to go higher. Microsoft has not failed to deliver. And we're going to find out more about that story on January 30th when their earnings come out. The last Q3 earnings revenue jumped 13% year over year. Now that's earnings on a gross margin of 71%. And that jumped 16% year over year. But at $400, it's easy to argue that right now Q4 has been priced to perfection and we might see some form of a pull back. I'm not predicting that, but that is definitely a concern. And even if they crush those numbers, there may be some profit taking going into the good news. All right, let's take a look at the technicals and I'm going to keep them super simple today. The bottom line is that right now price action is sitting above all of the moving averages. And so everything is saying bullish, bullish, bullish. But the most important thing I could show you is the long term view of this stock that we had once been in an ascending channel in 2022. We broke to the downside. We tested the low and in recent days, we have come back up into that channel, which is a very bullish signal. So I'm just going to tell you right now that if we go through this earnings and we finish the month in that channel, that can be predicting a much bigger move up over time. When we do get the next big push up potentially on earnings, I think that largely the stock is then going to move sideways for the first quarter of 2024. And then we're going to rebuild more momentum after another round of earnings. And if everything is kosher the way that it has been, I don't see why we wouldn't push up to 450, which would simply be preparing us for a later move in 2025 to reach $500 and a potential stock split. At the moment, I don't see any path back to $200, no matter how shaky this market gets. Even if we came out of that channel, I think there's a ton of support for this stock moving forward. I'm going to call it a buy the dip and don't miss it. If it does get back to 385, that may be your last chance similar to Nvidia. And that's going to be one of the next stocks that I cover guys. When it came down to 408, right? That would be comparable to Microsoft's 385. That was one of the last chances to get on board before it shot up to 500. The only concern that I'm going to be keeping my eye out for would be a break of this channel. If we lost this channel, then that whole bullish story is off the table. And if you want to get an update, if that occurs, you got to hit the subscribe button. This has been a great series. I've enjoyed making it. I'd love to get some feedback from you guys. We're going to be getting around to talking crypto, Bitcoin, coin in the miners again very soon as well. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Peace and blessings. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.